hello friends so welcome back to my channel and today in this video lecture we will learn about the constraints and how the reduction in the number of generalized coordinate how the reduction in the number of generalized coordinate happen due to constraints okay so for this uh, consider a n particle system so n particle system is shown here so n particle system has n particles okay okay, okay. so here are the n particles okay now usually the number of generalized coordinates is equals to the degree of freedom of the system that means uh, number of generalized coordinate in general is equals to the 3n okay 3 into n <coughs> now uh, the generalized coordinate will go from q1 q2 up to q3n okay that means there are three n generalized coordinate now if if uh, there are m number of holonomic constraints okay if there are m number of holonomic constraints equation then the degree of freedom will reduce and it will be now denoted by small n and it will become equals to 3n minus m that means we have to subtract the number of uh, holonomic constraint equation from the uh, degrees of freedom from the actual degrees of freedom so 3n minus m is now the actual or effective degrees of freedom okay now number of generalized coordinate will reduce to n so now since uh, now the degrees of freedom has reduced to n so now the number of uh, generalized coordinate will go from q1 q2 up to qn okay okay friends thanks for watching this video okay thank you very much